everyone. It's me, Trish, the Purple Yarnivore. <laughs> How are you today? So glad that you're here with me. Hello to all my new subscribers. Hello to all my returning subscribers. Much love. Anyway, today is a yarn haul video. Are you getting sick of them yet? <laughs> I ordered a few things from Joann's. Um, Gosh, probably a couple weeks ago. And I hit up the big uh, Hirschner's warehouse sale. And I'm excited to show you what I got. But first, I just want to say thank Cynthia from Cynthia's Joyful Creations. She has an amazing channel. She is doing this big thing where she, um, everybody in, who wants to be involved watches Call of the Midwife on Netflix and once a week we do like this big um, fun quiz thing on the two episodes that we watch that week and you can earn like cute little prizes and stuff and if we're making Call of the Midwife blankets she's got three different types um, that we can do I already started on mine she had posted three tutorials on the midwife blankets of course i got super excited and before she posted her tutorials i went to fiber 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 spider <laughs> and started working on the one that he did a tutorial on and um just started on that but i can't wait for it to be done i'm using mandala um Oh, I can't remember the colorway, but I am using the three weight mandala yarn for my call of the midwife blanket. Anyway, go check out her channel, Cynthia's Joyful Creations. Um, if I remember, I'll put her link in my description box. She is so fun. She is so joyful and she is so inspirational. So please check her out. You know, she needs to hit a thousand subs seriously she needs to hit a thousand subs um so go join her channel she is marvelous <laughs> and i am close to hitting my 500 so i am so excited about that because when i hit 500 malabrigo giveaway and a crochet hook from brenda the newbie crocheter Limited to the U.S. only, I'm afraid. Sorry. Anyway, another thing I wanted to cover, okay, is, and, and he doesn't know I'm doing this, but I love his channel, I love his personality, and I love his book, David Batterina. He wrote a book called The Caretaker. This book is so good um he has a channel about being a writer and an infj from the mbti and his character is an infj too so go check out this book on amazon and kindle it doesn't cost very much and it really is very good i love this book and he needs to write more which i think he plans to but get this book the caretaker screenshot that and then go hit up Amazon and leave a very positive review. Okay, on to the yarn. On to the yarn, okay? So, let's hit, let's start with the Joann's first. Um because um that is the smallest. So, I was curious about the KC yarns, which stands for knit and crochet. And so, I got a couple balls of um, the ones they had a sale for $1.99. So those are the ones I grabbed. And um, there is one I got two balls of. I have no idea what to do with it. But it's really nice feeling and silky and interesting. Interesting. Anyway, so I got the Casey Willow yarn. Now this is it says it's a medium weight number four. 
um, made in Turkey, 100% um, acrylic, 128 yards per ball. And it says to use an I-9 crochet hook. Anyway, I got it in the color, does it say the color? Let me see, coral. I got two in the color coral because like I'm just getting a feel for this yarn. I'm just checking it out. I got myself a little yarn snack. <laughs> anyway, it's really kind of bizarre, but it's kind of got this boucle thing going. And it goes from that to like a thicker blue boucle to like this really skinny, skinny. And it's shiny. It's got a really nice shininess. But here, let me put these together so you can see how it goes from thick to really thin. It's super pretty though, but I just don't know what to make with it. I don't know, but this is, this is really nice. It's really soft. I don't know. I kind of feel like this is more for knitting than crochet. I have nothing negative to say about this because I have not tried it out yet. I just thought it was pretty. When I saw it on the Joann's website, I did not realize it went from thick to thin like that. So it'll be a fun challenge for me to use it. Anyway, it is the Casey Willow. And I got two balls of the coral. And then I got two balls of the Casey Element. It is 90% cotton, 10% acrylic, 102 yards, uh, medium weight number four. And it also is a product of Turkey. And it's got this fuzziness on it. I got the color red, dark, red DK, red, dark, dark red, whatever. Anyway, that's what that looks like. It does have like this fuzzy halo and it reminds me of a yarn I just used. Oh, I don't think I have any more of it, but this reminds me of a yarn that I recently used. Anyway, it is the Casey Element and it is super cool. I just wish it came with more yardage. But yeah, they have different colors of all of these yarns I'm going to show you today. Oh. And then I got two. This one is like a bunch of snowballs. It is so interesting. I got the Knit and Crochet Confection. And it is 100% polyamide, 155 yards. And it is also considered a medium number four. And I got one in the color navy. Look at it. It's like a handful of blue snow. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. And that's what that looks like. The Casey Confection. Again, I wish it had more yardage. But it don't. So I have two balls. <laughs> And then I got two of the KC Bliss, which is 53% cotton, 34% anti-pill acrylic, anti-pill, yes, and 13% polyamide, product of Turkey. It is, it says it's a lightweight number three, but this is thicker than my light, than my medium four. Um, yeah, I got the color purple black because it really does go. And this is a chain spun, by the way. So on the outside, it's purple and on the inside, it's black. And it is like a chain spun yarn, if you can see that. And I thought that was really cool. So I that's the Casey Bliss, and I got two balls of that. So I'm going to use these and see what they're like and see how they work up. And it's going to be fun. So on to Hirschners. So before the warehouse sale, I did order some Hirschners. Um, 
I noticed that they had the Willow Daily on sale. Now the Willow Daily is a bulky weight, 106 yards, um, made in Turkey, 100% super wash wool. It calls for an L11 hook. I got four in the color Perfect Shore. Now it's not like super soft, but it's not like itchy scratchy either. It's it's nice. I mean, it's not unnice, you know. It's totally workable, but it is chunky. It's almost like a, I don't know, like a really heavy five or a light six. Anyway, that's the chunkiness of it. And that's what the color looks like. Greens and cream and like dark orange and yeah, it's super pretty. Willow Daily. They were having a big sale on these. And then I got Willow Daily in the color Sunspot. And it's got oranges and yellows and pinks and reds. It's so summery and pretty and bright. And I got four of those. So that is, and then, you know, I got some um, Premier Serenity sock yarn because um, I, 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 I want to learn to make socks and I'm trying to build up a sock yarn stash. So the Premier Serenity sock, if you've ever used it, it is 230 yards per ball. It is a super fine one weight. I got the color Pop of Color and it is 50% superwash merino wool, 25% rayon and 25 or 25% rayon made from bamboo and then 25% nylon. So it's a good sock yarn and I got three of these because, you know, I want to make three pairs of socks, or three socks, <laughs> not even pairs. And that's what that color looks like. So I got three of those. Um, now on to the warehouse sale. Warehouse. So I wanted to try some yarns that I had never tried before. And I got on, I've heard things about the good things, okay, I think from Ross Smell Great Guy on YouTube, um, he got the Northern Heather's yarn. Oh, no, this one's Mary Maxim. Did I get this? Hold up. <laughs> Is some of this Mary Maxim? No, maybe just this. Nope, it's just this one. <laughs> Where am I? You know, again, you know, my excuse for being so airheaded is I work in a dry cleaning slash laundry operation and we don't have air conditioners. So my brain melted and, and now I'm struggling to focus. <laughs> anyway, from Mary Maxim, I wanted to try the Northern Heather's yarn. Now, the Northern Heathers is 100% acrylic DK weight, so um, it's a light three. It is machine washable and dryable. Wash using gentle, delicate cycle for two minutes. Tumble dry using low heat for maximum of five minutes. Remove and lay flat to dry. Do not dry clean! Exclamation. <laughs> okay, not washable and dryable. That's, that's. That's so misleading. But this is made in Turkey and it's 297 yards. And I got the color Lock, L-O-C-H. And it's got kind of this rainbow thing going through it. You see the different colors in it? Mary Maxim, Northern Heathers. 
Look at all the rainbow neat rainbow ness. That's pretty. And then I got purple, duh. <laughs> what they call dialogue color color thistle. Whatever. It's purple. And that's what that looks like with some blues and stuff through it. I like the different colors in it. It's so pretty. Pretty. I feel pretty. That's what the yarn is singing right now. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> Trish has gone off the deep end. And then I got the color Gris. Because I want to make hats with this. So it doesn't have a lot of color variation in it. It's more like darker tan to lighter tan. I don't know if you'll see the in it. But that's what that looks like. Grist. That's right, right? Yeah, grist. And that's what that looks like. Some nice neutral hats, you know, because I am doing hats for the homeless. Um, because I live in Iowa and it's like the tundra here, you know, good old Arctic weather in the winter time. And I don't want homeless people to have an uncovered head. I also do some baby blankets and some kitchen items for a program here called Waypoints that... Um, helps women in domestic violence situations and they help homeless people um, get uh, their own place and everything so yeah really cool okay on to Hirschner's the real Hirschner's <laughs> my warehouse sale box so I got three of this fur yarn red heart fur um my gosh i think it was i think they were like a dollar a ball something like that and i got it in the color eggplants it is 11 yards <laughs> um probably it's a jumbo size 7 machine wash and dry 100% polyester but I thought that would make such a cute teddy bear or a pillow, a fuzzy pillow, a soft pillow. It's so nice and it's purple, okay? You can call it eggplant all day, but it's purple, okay? All right. And then I had gotten two Santa sacks before. And I'm not particularly fond of this color, but I only got two balls of this in my Santa sacks. And I'm like, if I'm going to use this, I need to get more balls. Um, so I got the Twisted Cotton Blend in the color grass. I got two of those. And um, this is a bulky five machine washable and dryable, uh, 98 yards. 69% cotton, 31% acrylic. So I don't know what I'm going to do about it because it's kind of, it's got globs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it, but it goes, it's got these pips or whatever, you know, these. Anyway, if you've been to Joann's or have some of your own, you know what I'm talking about. So I got two of these. I was curious about some Barocco yarn, um, Barocco Faro, and they must have had a sale on these. Otherwise, I don't think I would have gotten them because regularly they're $8.99 a ball. But it is the Barocco Faro, and I thought this was like super interesting. It's 80% cotton, 20% nylon. Oh. I got the color dye lot or the color 6430 that's the dye lot color number thing 
um, lightweight number three made in Italy machine wash cold and water on delicate cycle lay flat to dry so this I thought was like super interesting and I don't know if you can see it very well but it's got a really interesting texture so yeah I got this and then I got one in the dye lot color 6436 I forget what colors these were oh blood orange and that's what that looks like oh <coughs> excuse me I can't think of the name of this color but this one's blood orange and I thought these two would go really well together and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but I'm gonna do something with them because I'm not going to spend $88.99 on this. Sorry. Um, it's only 164 yards per ball. So I'm going to have to be creative. Maybe a little, you know, kerchief or something. Oh, and then I got this, like, it's like a sampler pack of the Baby, by, Baby Wonder by Hirschner's. And this yarn is 75% 75, 75 acrylic, 25% superwash wool, 205 yards, medium weight number four, machine wash, lay flat to dry. And I got a sampler of this. So it's got like one of every color. Baby Wonder by Hirschner's. This is very nice. I will tell you now, this is very nice. And I got the color marshmallow came in it. They're all falling out, out of the bag. Marshmallow. Pamper. Which is kind of like a super, super pale light blue. Pamper. Um, nap time, which is just like a medium gray color. and squirt which is like a mint green and sandbox and it came with lullaby which is like a really light lilac purple color and it came with the color tender which is like a super light pale pink like light pastel pink and the color peaches which is peachy <laughs> and so those are nice I think I'm going to combine them all together to me like a blanket or something okay and then I got a bunch of the Premier Basics Chunky so the Premier Basics Chunky is it does not say it's anti-pilling, but it's made in Turkey. It is a bulky five, 117 yards, 100% acrylic. It's got the, it's tested and approved. And I got the chunky in one in the, all of these I got one color of. So I got the color monument. I got the color peach. I got the color sky. I got the color light gray. I got country blue and red, which is very red and yellow which is like a pale lemon butter yellow 
I got the color deep red, which is different than this red. So I'll put them together and you'll see they are, this is a darker red and this is a very cherry bright fire red. And I got one in the color tan. And one in the color rose. Is that all of them? No. And then one in the color taupe. Okay. And I think that's all of those. And then... I got myself three of the cotton sprouts. Now I have showed this on my channel before when I Premier came out with this yarn. And I had gotten this color when I ordered it as kind of like a, we're gonna test this and feel this out. It's 100% of cotton, 230 yards, lightweight number three. It is nice and soft. And so I got three in the color lime. Isn't that pretty? And then I got three in the color magenta, which is this color here. And because I think the green and the magenta, I like these two colors together a lot. And then I got myself four of the Premier Serenity. God, these were on sale, although I think, I want to say they were like $1.99 or something really cheap. I got four of them. It's a bulky weight number five, the Serenity Chunky, 109 yards, 100% acrylic, machine wash warm, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. And I got four in the color Glacier because I just thought that was so pretty and because it was the only one they had. So that is what I got. Four of these bad boys. I think they're really just gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then I got, oh, they had these Red Heart Chunky Super Savers. I think they only had this color, but they had like a three pack. These were like essentially, I think like a dollar. God, a three pack for like two ninety seven or something ridiculously cheap. Anyway, I got the Super Saver Chunky in the color Claret. Um, it's a bulky five, one hundred percent acrylic. Um, you know, it's a tad softer than. Maybe about the same as the Super Saver, the regular Super Saver. Anyway, I got six in the color Claret because I wanted to do something big with it. Maybe I'll make a sweater or something. And what else is in this box that I forgot about? <laughs> so I had gotten some of the Hirschner's Kids Brights before. So, um, it wasn't enough to do much with. I was just, I, you know, I just bought it to see what it's like and check it out. Now, I will tell you, this Kids Brights is some seriously crunchy yarn, okay? Crunchy yarn. It feels like a three-way. It is a lightweight three-way, 100% acrylic, 265 yards per ball. And I'm hoping that it softens up after the wash. But this is the color kid cocktail and it's got all these pretty colors so I got myself five of those five because these were on sale and they were super cheap too so I got five of those and then I got myself another kind of try it pack I was super curious about this yarn and it is the department 71 flurries yarn. It is, it's got the little snowballs in it too, but it's a little thinner. Like it's classified as a lightweight number three. So 
that's probably just because the little snowballs in it. But if it didn't have the snowballs in it, I would definitely say it is a super fine one or a number two. Anyway, this was like a sampler thing where you get one of each color also. Um, and this, the Department 71 Flurries is 50% acrylic, 50% polyester, 248 yards, machine wash and dry, made in China. And I got one in the color First Frost. So that's this pretty blue color. And I got one in the color Glacial. Not Glacier, but Glacial. So it's kind of like this icy light blue color. And then I got one in the color Snowberry. And one in the color Frozen Peach. And one in the color Deep Freeze, which is a purple. And one in the color Tundra, which is this really interesting, pretty green color. So it came with six balls total. Anyway, I did get a lot from the Hershner warehouse sale just when like I feel like I was done yarn shopping for the year I am downright shameful <laughs> but I love yarn I love it so much okay I'm gonna try and hurry up and get off of here because I'm already past 30 minutes and I know most of you haven't made it this far but just a few last things I am about to update my Etsy shop and put some new stitch markers in there so favorite my shop so that you always know when I got something new in my shop um, and this top um, I made this this is my pattern I'll be writing it up and sending it to some testers I hope this is made with the, the flex yarn, the loops and threads flex yarn. Um, this is, God, I want to say coral or pink or something, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I love this top. I've made two of them. I made one in this color and I've made one in the flex yarn color ivory. So I have one in this color and I have one in this color and I get lots of compliments on it. I'm going to write the pattern soon. Um, so I just wanted to mention that I love this top. I love this top so much. I'm going to step this back behind. Anyway, okay, I think I'm done. I have an Etsy shop. Get me over 500 so I can do a giveaway. I hope you enjoyed seeing all this beautiful yarn. And last, stay safe. Take care of each other. Show love. Show compassion. Be merciful and understanding to each other. We all struggle. We all have things we're going through. Let's not judge. Let's understand. Okay? And do your random acts of kindness. Anyway, long enough. Um... We'll see you and take care. Bye.